What's up guys, it's Samuel. It's Lucas. And today we're acting to Death Leopard. Bring it on the heartbreak. Bring it on. Okay, sorry, I know it's early, but this kid looks 12. Yeah. How, how old were they here? Because they looked young in the last video we reacted yeah, to. They just got done with English. But this guy looks different. <laughs> like, th like, I don't remember him. But anyway, let us know how old they are yeah. um, here. I mean, first thing I gotta say, it's nice to see our boy Rick Allen drumming it away yeah. with two arms this time around. So obviously this shows that he's a lot younger than the other songs that we've reacted to. We can put the playlist up there um, if you wanna check them out. Um, but that's nice. Yeah, and honestly, at first it started pretty slow and then they kind of, in the chorus, brought it, um, brought it up a little bit, but it sounds fantastic so far. I'm digging it. Really good. The guitar in the background, it sounds like mystic. The, like melodic. The, the, yeah, that's yeah. like, it's a cool sound. Just try. Those of you that were around or, you know, capable of your own thoughts at this time when it came out, how did this song make you feel? Was this a song you kind of threw on the radio when you just got your heart broken or when you somebody cheated on you, you know, something like that? Was this that song that you turned on and you were just like in your feels about it and then the chorus comes bringing all the Punch. heartbreak and you're just like, ah, screw her. Is that how you guys were? Because that's how I would be, I think. This is a good song.
When did this song come out too? Because based off of their clothes, their clothes look a lot more like 70s than 80s. So was this late 70s or early 80s? Yeah. Because I know so. primarily you guys told us they were like 80s um, band, but the clothes kind of tell, tell, tell a little bit about the time. All right, so that was Def Leppard, bringing on the heartbreak. I liked it, I thought it was cool. I like kind of the, the switch between kind of the slow, melodic, kind of like ominous thing that Lucas was saying. Um, and then kind of it comes in, you got the best of me and the drums come, the bass, the guitar hits a, hits a chord and it's a, it just all kind of together. And then the chorus obviously is a little more up tempo. Um, but like, I, liked, I like that blend, I like that balance um, between the kind of lighter stuff and then the real hardcore stuff. Yeah, I think, I think it was crafted very well because I mean, if you do have your heart broken, sometimes you want to dwell on that sadness a little bit, and I think the tempo works for that, but also you don't want to just be sad and feeling like crap, and then that punch in the chorus is just like, okay, like, I'm a little pumped up now, and I think, I don't know, I think it's just perfect for, for that type of mood, and I'm not heartbroken right now, but this was a great song and one that I would listen to anyways, which brings us to a question on this channel. Is it playlist worthy? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is playlist worthy. Um, so far, our Def Leppard um, track record on this channel is at 100% playlist worthy. Mm -hmm. um, so be sure to comment what Def Leppard song you want to see us react to next. Make sure to like and subscribe to help support the channel. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.